key and shit and We are for him. Are we for him? Are you for him? Bill? Did you guys study with uh, Matthew McGuire? Yeah, I know Matthew very well. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's fantastic. Fantastic. He's very smart. Oh, is that like, does that, does that mean you had to learn a lot in this class? I didn't actually ever take classes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> He's brilliant. He's amazing. You can just give him a great, you know. No, but I should. He did, he he did hand to God. The and, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kommst du Deutsch sprechen? about you guys' creative process. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is, so the title is kind of like a trick title. It's not like, like Hamilton, you know what you're getting, right? Watch me work, it's a little tricky, because the me in the title is you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So watch me work means that I'm here, basically, pretty much every week in the lobby of the public theater, and I'm repeating it because we also live stream via HowlRound. And I'm here, and for free, we invite you guys to come. And I want to talk to you about your work and your creative process. So I don't talk about my work and my creative process. And if one should ask me a question about my work or my creative process, I turn it into a question about you. So it's a chance for you to talk about what's going on with your work. Okay? Okay, and it doesn't have to necessarily be writing. It can be any kind of creative endeavor. Okay, so. As part also, we've got two minutes. Uh, ask us all to get naked. Uh, I, I, uh, she's hallucinating. She has some uh, hallucinogens. Legal hallucinogens. Um, that's why she wears those glasses, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't. Uh, you know, I, that's one thing. The two things I don't really dig on stage. You know, the two is well, one thing, rich people, just bad stuff at the years. And for two is nakedness. I never really got into that. Um, at home, sure. You know. But one day I, I came home, my son was like with the babysitter and he was naked. And I'm like, why? He's like, I don't know. I said, okay. You need motivation. Put your clothes on. Um, anyway. We're going to write for 20 minutes, okay? And those of us who, uh, those of you guys who are watching via HowlRound, Mike, are you going to come up and tell us? Uh, tell them now so they can prepare. And then you tell them again when we take questions. You know, they'll have like more than one chair. You can get behind, come from behind the rope. Yeah, this is great because you're like in the club. Okay. okay. Uh, so, look, at you, look at that. That's cute. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Yeah, little, little purple sparkles. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to our live streaming, we also take tweet questions uh, on our Twitter account, which is at WatchMeWorkSLP. Uh, so if you tweet in with uh, the hashtag HowlRound, we will ask SLP your questions and then respond. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Thank you. So you got your, you got your, you're going to use your phone? Yes, I have. I brought my timer today. We're going to do it to 20 minutes and uh, then we're going to do some talking, okay? I'm not going to start until I put my. Anybody doesn't know, this is a typewriter. <laughs> I know, it's been a long time. And it makes a clack, it clack. Okay, ready? Well, I'm going to move my sandwich out of the way. There.
Did everybody get something done? You can keep working. You can keep writing. Don't let me stop. Keep going. It's great. It's really great because you can, you, you know, if you're having trouble, you can use this time, you know, to sort of like, uh, you know, just, think of, just think of me as your, your animals. their work or their career process or their shit. up to the time that it's frozen, okay? Which, yeah. if it needs it, I suggest do it. Don't stand on like, well, I don't know, you know, first draft, best draft, that'll be right, you know, that's bullshit. Okay, um, and you can keep cutting also, you don't have to change, you can actually cut things, right? Okay. Um, also, you can rewrite, a lot of people do, I tend not to, but people do it after the show is over, you know, after you've had your production, and then you revisit it later. A lot of people keep writing, and even if it's published several times, people keep rewriting. I don't. I let it go. It's every everything. I mean, it used to be The Wizard of Oz used to be the big. The Wizard of Oz, the movie, used to be the everything you need to know you can learn from watching The Wizard of Oz. Or I Met Your Neighbor, that movie about James Bond. Put those two together, you know everything. But now we also have to add to the mix Frozen. I've never seen it, but that song. <laughs> Let it go. Right, so anyway. Um, the third time you can stop rewriting, right, is when you see the actors <laughs> do that, okay? So you go, okay, I have some notes, and they're like, when they start to their eyes begin to roll back into their heads, stop rewriting. You've given them more than they can handle, they can't take it anymore, and you need to realize that you're working collaboratively, and you can't be handing them shit, because then they'll just start, Shit up. That was more what I meant, I suppose, <laughs> rewriting, giving it to the actors, how late do you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would that be for previews still? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Because for the reason, reason, like... Yeah, but when, they, when they're, like, thrown up and uh, yeah. done and hate, you know, and they can't do what you've already written well because you feel the need to, you know, then you have to, you're, then you're not... You're not serving it. Right? You're not serving yourself to the best of your ability. So you have to be just aware. You know, but sure, all the way up to, to when, when it, all the way up to when it freezes, you can sure go for it if you want, but, but be aware. You know, be aware of that. yeah, that's right. You ready? Right. Okay. <laughs> no, because you always talk to me like after. You know, yeah, hey, I, I really had a question. I, I needed to ask no, you. I, 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 no, it's not even about a question. I'm okay. Like, I know what I, the last three times I was like, I know what you're going to say to me, so oh, you're so just going to say, <laughs> just do the work. That, oh, that was so what just I was saying. Okay. Yeah. So I did the work. There you go. And How's it going? It, it got very interesting. I, I think I was just trying to do the whole thing in one day. Right. And I just said, why don't I just talk to one character and let's see where that goes instead of me getting on my own nerves. So. This one character has much to say, and it's almost like, I've been waiting for you to sit and listen to me. See? And here's your pen. <laughs> Write down everything I'm saying. See? So it's 
can't, and it, but it's kind of, I'm, I'm finding that it's like pages and pages and pages, but I'm going back and I'm circling like okay, this, this is here, which is new for me. I'm not, usually I'm like, no, I have to write everything beginning to end, and it has right. to, now it's, okay, here's this little thought, and that's going to go there. So I've got a, I've got a wall of, of scenes that I just like, I'm like, okay, there's something here. And so I'm just trying to be brave. Let it go. That's what I'm trying to do. See? So, See? so, yeah, I, I, I once again find myself feeling like I'm in the middle of, in the middle, and I'm trying to figure out where the end is. So I'm like, should I just hang out in the, and just do it and see what happens? I think just keep putting in the time. I mean, what else? I mean, that's the thing. You, you, you know, you write, you're working on something for a long time. You've been working on this for a while. You just have to keep putting the time in. Keep getting the pages down. Yeah. You know? And yeah. you said, oh, a couple weeks ago that you needed feedback from some new people. Yes. Is that, so, are you, how's that going? I'm trying to figure out who those new people need to be. Uh -huh. I haven't cut out one person who's just... They're becoming very entertaining, right. but that's not helping. Uh, I'm entertained, but yeah. it's not. It's yeah. not there. So you need some new. Some I'm new just people. yeah, I, but okay. I want to be organized. Uh -huh. You just have to keep putting the time. Really, it's like sometimes it's like that. Yeah. You know, and then and then it's um it's like compounded interest. You know, does anybody have a bank account or is that like a You know, you put you know you put does anybody like a savings account? We put a little in, you know what I mean? So you don't have to put like a million dollars in. You have to be regular with your with your uh, savings. You know, you have to just put a little bit in on a regular basis. It's kind of it's the same as writing. It's like sometimes you just walk like this, which is fine. As long as you're moving, you know? Yes. So, um, for example, today. Right, today. I showed up and. Uh, <laughs> you are. I had no idea. I was like, well, let's I've been getting the emails for a while, and right. I was like, you know what? I'm going to check it out. Right. I didn't know that I was going to be writing today. Oh. So uh, I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting, so we'll see. Let's just write. You know, right. I journal everything, so I figured what's going to happen. But when you're feeling that kind of, oh, gosh, I don't want to introduce this word into our lexicon now, but like this block or whatever, like, oh. We're not afraid of that word. Right. Now I have to like do this thing. Right. What do you? Uh, I mean, there's something in the just putting the money in the bank, uh, but how do you just move past that? The block. Yeah. Right. It's great. We can say block, 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 okay. block, 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 block. We're not afraid. I mean, that, it's it's a thing that happens, right? I mean, it's not yeah. like you're gonna like, oh shit, you just took a shit on the floor and I have to clean it up, you know? It's not like that. You didn't do that. You keep talking about something like, oh, Trump, Trump, Trump. Guess what? He's really here. Oh shit, we gotta make a deal with it. It's okay. I'm not afraid. Yeah. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to to rise to the occasion. It's an opportunity to show the world that yes, you are a ninja. Uh, I don't wear black for nothing. I just like my ninja. <laughs> you know so, so difficulty is an opportunity, right? Yes. So that's how we look at it. So that's all it is. It's just an opportunity. It's your. It's basically your spirit saying, "What you got? Yeah. What you got? Oh, you. Oh, you want to do this? I come on. Let's see. You know, and it's that cool moment where you're like, oh shit. Okay." Well, cause you would if it was just if it was just like a flat, you know, da 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 da. This is fucking boring. It gets a little interesting because you come in contact with yourself, shit, and you're your cobra <laughs> and a snake chopper. What are you gonna do? You know that kind of thing. It gets very exciting. So you pull out your tools. Like sometimes it's a phone call to a good friend who's gonna give you a pep talk. That's a tool in your tool belt, right? Sometimes it's going online, maybe, and, and looking up like um, famous quotations from famous artists. You know, like the, uh, Chuck Close, uh, the, the, graph, the painter, has a great quote. quote. He says, uh, inspiration is for amateurs. Like, yeah, you know, meaning don't, amateurs wait for inspiration, but the pros just do the work consistently, right? Or you read, you know, maybe you, or you go see a film. Another plug, I Am Not Your Negro. That film is brilliant. It's brilliant. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you, you know, or wait for it to come out on one of the 
Netflix or whatever it comes out of, it's brilliant. So you get inspired, right? That's part of your toolkit too. Or you just sit down and you get a timer, and I have a lot of these. Again, I don't use my phone because your phone is crack. I say that all the time. Your phone is crack. This kind of timer, not this kind, but just a digital egg timer is great because it only is going to count down or up the time, right? You sit down and do the work. So, it's, so a block, when it happens, is an opportunity to get strong, right? Do you go to the gym or anything like that? Yeah. Or run or whatever, right? So what do you do when you go to the gym? I, I play, I run, I do more sports. Great, great. Oh, smart. So you know what it's like to like, you go to the gym maybe and you don't feel like running. You don't feel like lifting weight. You don't feel like, what kind of martial arts do you do? Jiu-Jitsu. Okay, so sometimes you don't feel like, like the form. Do you guys have forms in martial arts? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu? Do you do like a kata? No, but I did taekwondo. So okay, so you know what it's like. Sometimes you don't feel like it. What do you do? You put on your uniform, you stand there, you bow, and you just do one move. Right? You get on, you know what I mean? Same with this. It's the same thing. It's cool. You know? It's a cool. It's, an opera. it's like, yeah, okay. So I don't feel like it today. Good. You know? And then after your 20 minutes of working, when you started out not feeling like it and you worked anyway, then you can walk around like this for the rest of the day. That's what I do. Because <laughs> I did my, my fit. You know? okay. I'm glad you can't Yeah, this is good. This is good. Anybody else? Yes! Remind me of your name. Nancy. Nancy. You've been here. Yeah, but hi, it's good to see you. Hey, Nancy. Um, something that you said earlier is helping me articulate my question a little better. Yeah. You mentioned um, to remember that you're working collaboratively. Right. And I guess that's what's being a little bit difficult for me because I'm right. actually a fiction writer. Oh, wow. Okay. So a lot of my work is solo. Right. But throughout, uh, through a series of really weird circumstances, now I'm writing for the stage and I'm performing. So I know, and suddenly I have this project. I have a series of uh, strongly connected monologues, and I have the idea on how to develop them into a one-person show. Okay. However, the transitions between each, the transitions between each of the monologues, like. I have ideas on how I would do it if they were chapters right. on the page, but for the stage, this is like all really new to me right. because I'm assuming that I can use things like dance, music, lighting, um, and is that where collaboration could be helpful? Sure, sure. That is exactly where collaboration can be helpful. Did you hear Nancy's question? She's writing this cool series of monologues. Collaboration can totally help. You can invite in. I mean, it's, it's going to be your play, conceived and written by you. And then you invite in a director, and she or he can offer you ideas. Hey, a, a song, we can do a piece of music here. We can invite in a musician to play some music, some live music here, as a, br a way of bridging the pieces, for example. You know, we could show some, some video elements, you know, some visual elements. I mean, they can give you ideas. And then you guys can create the show collaboratively. You know, so that's a great opportunity. You know, or you can go and watch a lot of shows that are kind of like yours and see what they do, and then script it into your series of monologues. You know, you can get some ideas and just write them in. You see? Because so far, I guess um, part of what I've been trying to do is I've been performing. Yeah. Each oh, monologue oh, individually, great. and oh, then great. kind of revising each great. one. That's great. And I mean, that's what I would do with chapters right. Right. or short stories or right. essays. Right. But this is still like, right. like I'm right. doing this in front of people. It's that's out loud. Great. It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, not it's weird, exciting, <laughs> but it's suddenly like, right. This is live. So the whole idea of. Well, I know how to do this on the page, right? And I'm always alone, right? So, but well, you work with an editor when you do you work with when after you finish writing a novel, for example, you, you then work with an editor. Do you? I do, but mm -hmm. I tend 
It tends to get published pretty much as and it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I've never had a lot of intervention. Right. What about the book art? What about the cover art? Oh, um, hmm. I mean, who I, does that? I guess I've always just sort of given like the artists a lot of free Right. Range and it's but, usually but they because might check I've back with you, but you might they might check back with you. Well, that's co op. I mean, you see, what you do is you find a place in your ex more experienced artistic uh, expression where you can see parallels. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, so what you could do, since you work really well on your own, you can generate a lot of the connective bits on your own, and then join up with the director when you've done kind of the whole thing and have her look at it and help make it, you know, more amazing. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah, because yeah, totally. But you do work well with others. You turn, you know, you work with an editor, but they don't have to intervene. Great. And then you work with a, an artist through the cover art. Someone that you know, that's important. Yeah. So maybe find a director that you know. That could be helpful, you know, if you do know some directors that you like. Thank you. That yeah. all makes so much sense, and it seems so obvious. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's hard, you know, when you're like standing, you know, sometimes it's hard to see when you're standing right in front of it. It's my job. It's a snake. I love snakes, by the way. From Argentina, aka Trump Tower of the White House, Melania. Well, how can we help you, Melania? Sorry. She lives with her husband and three daughters in Miami. Oh, oh yeah. She says hi. And then she says, hi. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm busted about it. I, I apologize. She says, when I write, I feel that my idea and characters that once seemed great get lost in a structure that I cannot find. I do not know what to do when something that seems so great suddenly makes me feel so disoriented. Huh. That's really good. So, um, and Melania, I don't know how you go about, you know, first you have the idea and then you write it, so I don't know what's in between those steps. But I would suggest, if you don't do it already, uh, another bad word that I, that I love, outline, 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 okay? Um, I have gotten a lot out of outlining where you basically take just a, one piece of paper and you jot down the beats of your story, right? So you have this wonderful idea, this awesome idea, and you go, gosh, I, I really want to write it, and often we just go ahead and write it, yeah! It's like dating, and you have three kids, so you, you, know, you, know, you know about this. You can't just rush into the arms of that person, you know what I mean? I mean, you could, but it probably might be a mess, and it probably wouldn't be as great as you think it's gonna be if you just dive into bed with them or whatever. So you have to kind of do a little bit of, you know, Take some steps, and outlining is the way writers take steps. So I would say outline it. Tell yourself the story beat by beat by beat by beat, and then you can see it, almost as if you would be telling a story to one of your kids or a friend, you know? This is what, once upon a time, this is what happened, and this is what happened, and this is what happened, and this is what happened. Everything you can imagine is gonna happen in your story, and you have an outline. It doesn't have any dialogue, Right? It doesn't have any uh, big stage directions or anything, right? It just has the beats of the story, and then you write it from there. And that helps you just take some, that's like taking many dates before you take the plunge, buy the rings or whatever. You're looking at it like crazy. I know I've done a no, lot of dates. No, not at all. No, I've done a lot of dates. So, <laughs> I'm I mean, not. I've done, no, I've got more writing than dating, but, you know, <laughs> I'm a fair amount of dating, you know? Does that, does that help? So, does that help? Well, thank you for, for tweeting in. That's right on. Yeah, in Miami. Yeah, hi. So, what's your name again? Silvana. 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 Hi, Silvana. Um, so, that raises the question for me. How do you still allow for moments of discovery through outline to the beads and everything that's going to happen? I know, because it doesn't sound like, right? Solana? Solana. Solana says, how, it's a great question. How do you allow for moments of discovery if you've outlined the whole, the whole 
fucking thing. Because now you're not going to have any fun because you're like, you're straight jacket. And you outline it and you have to do exactly what you... That's the weird thing about outlining. And I... Have you ever tried outlining? I, yes. Yeah. And so you feel like... Do you feel like you're straight jacket? Hmm. So... Have you ever been... In love? No? This is... These two things are connected. Are you serious? Okay, these two things are connected. This is weird. Because it's like that. You get into a committed relationship with somebody or something, and it feels like, oh my god, now we have to do everything and wear the same clothes and like wake up at the same time and do everything. We have to walk together all the time like this. Right? You think, right? But actually, there's an incredible freedom that happens when you commit yourself to something. It's, it doesn't sound like it would make sense. Forget love. We're talking about outlining, okay? So when you outline, I want you to... Are your outlines long or are they short? They're really pretty short, like one page. One page, because you don't want to like... And then you feel like, when you sit down to write, you feel like, what do you feel? What, is this, what does it feel like? I feel bored. I know what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. And I'm not excited about it. And then you don't write it? I mean, I write it, but I'm not excited about it. You're not excited about it. And you think you'd be more excited if you didn't know why? Right? So, so if you were uh, going to take a trip to the Santa Monica Pier, have you ever been to the Santa Monica Pier? Okay, has anyone ever been to the Santa Monica Pier? We go to that. It's great. Great. Okay, it's cool. It's a cool place in the Santa Monica. Okay, so if I were to say we're going to get a car and we're going to just we don't need a map or anything, we're going to just drive, right? We might not get there. Right? But we'll say, you know what, we'll stop in, I don't know where, Chicago, and then we'll go across the Badlands, and then we'll go down, you know, right? Will that make the trip less exciting? No, I don't think so. But it would give us, I, I know I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go here. Freedom is a very funny concept. We think when we don't outline, we can be free. And if we're free, then we can be excited, right? People wanted their candidate to be exciting. They didn't want to vote for the woman who was going to do the job. They wanted to have excitement. We're having a lot of excitement now, because we don't know what the fuck he's doing. It's, it's exciting. I don't know if it's freedom, though, because with freedom comes responsibility, OK? I would just say, maybe tell yourself, this is a roadmap. It's just doing the pinpoints of where I'm going. This is going to allow me to relax behind the wheel and check out the fabulous scenery. That's what an outline does. You're behind the wheel. Okay, you, do you drive? Okay, oh, no, 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 not everybody. Not everybody does, and that's cool. You know, or you sit in the passenger seat, whatever you want, you know, and you're looking and enjoying the scenery. You don't have to be like, where are we going tonight? You don't have to do that. You just, I'm, go, I'm on my way to Chicago. Wow. Allow yourself to look at the scenery in your mind. So if you say the first thing is, is you know, the, the guys are playing cards. And then by the end of the scene, the girlfriend walks in. Is that boring? Oh, I don't know. What's she wearing? Who are they playing cards? Is he playing cards with another woman? Right? What are they drinking? They're not, because he said he wasn't going to drink. These are the details of the landscape that you're going to allow yourself to look at because you've given yourself an outline. What's great about your outlines is they're not too detailed. Okay? You're just doing the tent poles, as we say, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? And you're going to walk from one to the other, and you're going to look at the scenery all around you as you walk. Okay? Okay. But that's... And you know, try love because it's kind of the same thing. It's like a tent pole. Being in love, it's like in a good relationship, it's like a tent pole. Like, like I don't know who I'm going to lie down in bed with tonight. God willing, he's going to be there. It's great. I don't have to think about that shit. Who am I going to lie in bed with? You know, okay, I know he's there. He's like, you know, it's nice. I can look at the scenery. See what I can come here and go, Maybe that was too much information. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Anybody else have a question? About you? you just. Yeah, go ahead. So, 
earlier you answered a question about um, when you stop writing, and I loved you know you, you were like well you know once it premieres I, I let it go you don't want to keep writing. So my question is to do with um, how precious you keep a thing. Like at what point do you start sharing it with someone? Right. Uh, right. And and at what point uh, and and how do you flex that muscle to not be so precious about the right. whole thing? Like well if this sucks this sucks. Right. Uh, and just, just right. sharing it with people or right. being available to change. Right. Such a huge question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge question. How do you be, I mean, how do you develop flexibility? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a muscle and it's, it's, I mean, sometimes you have to, like I just finished the play on Friday. I have a dear, my agent, the guy who enacted the Oscars for me this morning. Mm. But he said, I got to read, you got to read, you just got to say it to you. Like that. And he never says that. So I was like, Okay, I'm going to give it a try. He's going to finish it and send it to him. He's a dear friend. So you share things with people who are really, who really care about you, right? We're not, I'm not sharing it with somebody because I'm trying to impress them or anything. It, it's a friendship thing. So share, if you have a first draft and you have a good friend who's a good reader, a smart person, right, and cares about you deeply and gives good feedback, Maybe has given good feedback on your acting work or something, you know, and you have a relationship with them, then share it with them, sure. Um, as my husband, I share, you know, I read a, a scene and I'll be like, honey, can I read it to you? He's like, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, I read it, and it's not even, you know, it's not even, well, it's not ink anymore, but it's, you know, it's, the ink isn't even dry. Right? I share it with him. How do, I stop, how do we not be precious with our work? It's, it's, uh, it's more a function of your personality. I tend to think, uh, I keep working, there's more where that came from. Catch and release, you know what I mean? Just, the spirit will give it to you, you do your thing with it and pass it on. That's how I work. Not everybody works that way, it's a personal thing. If you are more precious with your work than I am, or than Carol is, or than Lynn is, you know, it's okay. You know, it's not like a judgment. We're not gonna be sitting there going, he's so precious. It's what you learn, what you're comfortable with ultimately. Yeah, Carol. I'm working on a play. I don't outline. You don't know, Carol's an outline. Um, she writes a lot. But I, I guess I'm sort of doing it as I as I go. Right. And then I, along the way, I sort of think I have this. I think I've finished the play. Right. And that, but I really haven't. Right. That's really my outline. Right. Oh, cool. Okay. So, you know, like I've written this, written it out. I know it's not going to be the permanent. Right. 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 But inside me, I, I can, I know um, that I'm what, where I'm headed. So right. it's, it's a little wrapping away. But now then, I, as you have taught us to do, put it aside. Right. And like a pie cooling. Right. right. It's such a, a good thing that you right. taught. And, um, and so I put it aside for a month or so. Right. And then when I read back, I'm really not happy right. with what I have. Right. So I have to re-motivate. That's the stage I'm at now. Right. I thought it was much better than it was. Uh-huh. Right. Um, but, and that, so I spent today just reading. Good. Just reading what I had. And Good. I know it's not long yeah. enough, it's not deep enough. I'm just right. thinking about, well, how do I feel about this? Right. Play now. I'm jotting down. That's very great. You know, That's a perfect recipe for how to do it. Different different ideas so right. that I can now think about right. that. Right. And when I'm ready, right. dive in it right. to the cold water. Right, right, right. The water is probably not as cold as you want. You're probably going to play, and then you put it aside, and you reread it, and you're like, eh, it's still, it needs a lot of work. Maybe it needs more work than I thought. Okay? And maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Right, no. right. But you're rereading it, you're taking notes, and getting ready to go back to it. I think that's really great. I, mean, I, I do the same thing. That's all, that's all you've got. Sometimes you'll write something and it's not as good as you thought. You know, you come back to it. Sometimes you write something and you think it's not very good and it's better than what you thought. You know what I mean? Right. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is show up to work, take a, an honest look at it, or show it to a friend. The first reaction is, I'll like, just put yourself or something else. Right, right, right. And then I'm thinking, no, that's that's not going to work. Right. Right. The challenge is to go back and now realize that, hey, this is not deep 